Welcome to Survival Theory. Far North Bushcraft and Survival recently did a video where he tested the effectiveness of a wood fire reflector. And, well, a lot of people disagreed with the results. Some agreed with the results. So we're going to try to duplicate that test. You know, mine will be a little bit different, of course. It's a different area, different ambient temperature, different materials, but same basic principle. Will a wood fire reflector actually bounce heat back to you or is that more of a windbreak or well let's get busy with it and see what's going on okay so i'm going to set the experiment up right here i'm going to clear away some pine needles and get my fire going and then we'll put up a piece of plywood to act as a wood reflector and i've got five thermometers here that all show the same temperature i've tested them from 75 degrees up to about 95 and they're all showing consistent same temperatures so all right so what i've done here is i've established my fire point three feet from the center of that fire i have a plywood board acting as a wood reflector has a thermometer on it that thermometer is a little bit a little bit high compared to the rest three foot from the center of the fire on the right side i have a thermometer at knee height three foot from the center of the fire Opposite the reflector, I have a thermometer at knee height. Three foot from the center of the fire to the left, I have a thermometer at knee height. And I also have a tester over here showing the ambient temperature. That one's reading about 85 degrees. There's the temperature on that one. 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 They're all showing within a degree the same temperature. So let's get this fire started. Start testing. One strike. All right. All right, so I brought my tactical notebook. We'll draw a diagram. And start taking some measurements. Ambient temperature, 86. The one on the reflector, ooh, it's hot over here. That is 96 and right here to on the right I've got there, 90 about 95 now the one in front of the reflector it's showing about 110 degrees all right the one here on the left side is showing It's about 105 degrees. Now just like Lonnie's experiment, the logs and the coals and the heat are open to this one in the front, which theoretically should get hotter anyway because of the reflector. So what I'll do is rearrange the logs. They're starting to coal up now. Try to get an even distribution. Then we'll take another reading. All right, we should have pretty good heat distribution right now. Very hot fire. Uh, let me take a reading right now before it goes above the thermometer's ability to gauge it. Our ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is 87. One hundred seven at the reflector. To the right here. One hundred nine at the reflector. One hundred ten. Same as it was before. 
Now here to the left. One hundred twelve. So right now the hottest temperature is this one right here to the left. And the one in front of the reflector has not changed. So we'll keep monitoring it. It's a pretty good heat distribution right now. So I'm going to let this coal up and uh, we'll check it again in about 20-25 minutes. All right, time for some more readings. Ambient temperature. Ambient temperature is 87. One hundred fourteen at the reflector. One hundred seven to the right. Opposite the reflector. One hundred four to the left. One hundred fourteen. Okay, so on that third reading, on the reflector there, we've got 114. We've also got 114 over here. And the smoke is kind of, it's kind of going straight up, but it's swirling slightly to this left side. Over here on the right side, we had 107. Over here opposite the reflector, it's actually gone down quite a bit to 104. Now mind you, these are all at the, these three are at the same height and the same distance from the center of the fire. So now I'm going to move this log out of the way and turn it this way, see if it affects the temperature of this middle one. Because this is also exposed to more coals because of the fire layout. hot today I didn't bring much water but fortunately I've got an aluminum tree here and you can go to the roots you can pull out the roots pull away this protective coating and get you a soft drink in, a, in an aluminum can <sighs> aluminum trees are awesome all right so right now I've got an ideal set of conditions there's almost no wind well, there's been no wind, but the smoke is going straight up. I've got a hot bed of coals, very little flame. So let's get some readings. The ambient temperature. Still showing 87. I'll we'll call it 88 because it's gone up just a hair. The reflector, 105. To the right is 104. It's gone down a little bit. Opposite the reflector. We have 107. It's gone up a little bit. But that also is getting small patches of sunlight. One hundred five to the left. So the left and the reflector are both getting one oh five. The right is getting one oh four, and opposite the reflector is getting one oh seven with the ambient temperature of eighty eight. All right, so it stayed cloudy, making ideal conditions for these thermometers to gauge the heat. So I'm going to get one final measurement and then I'm going to put up in front of that wood reflector, I'm going to put a metal reflector. Then we'll take some measurements and compare how the metal reflector does. So our ambient temperature is now 85. 104 at the reflector. Got 103. It's 
gone down a little bit. Opposite the reflector. Yeah, I'll call it 105. That hasn't changed. To the left, I've got 101. That's gone down significantly. All right, so now I'll put up that metal reflector. See how that changes things. Okay, so I've put up a smooth steel reflector here. I've still got the thermometer on it. I'm going to let these flames die down a little bit, and then we'll take measurements. Now, the flame has been drifting towards the one on the left here, so I expect it to have a higher temperature. But we'll see what the effect is with this metal reflector. All right, so it's still cloudy again. Ideal conditions for this test. So let's take an ambient temperature reading. Ambient temperature is 88. At the reflector, we've got 118. 116. I'll call that 118. To the left. Hmm. It's only 112 to the left. Now I'm going to take my final set of measurements with the heat reflector. Ambient temperature. It's still 88. Write that down in my tactical notebook. Reflector. One hundred fourteen. Call that one hundred thirteen on the right. Opposite the reflector. One hundred sixteen. They've all gone down a little bit. And on the left, 108. Okay, here's a summary of our test. Here's the fire, here's the reflector. Each X is a thermometer, including this one for ambient. I'll go over these results slowly so you can compare them. This is at the reflector. Here is the right side. Here is the left side. And here is opposite the reflector. And here are the ambient temperatures. Now for reflecting heat, what I would want to do, if I were building a reflector, I would build the reflector and the fire out here, about six feet away, and sleep in between the reflector and the fire. Now what I've done in the past is I've built a reflector out of logs and put the logs right at the edge of the fire so that over the course of the night, the logs actually catch, catch on fire. And it does warm me up because it's not reflecting heat, it is the source of heat and it radiates out towards me and that works very well. So my results are very similar to Far North Bushcraft and Survival results because it varied on how I positioned the logs, you know, the breeze at the time. There's just so many factors that affect it and the reflector didn't seem to make a difference at all. So if you have not seen his channel, go check it out. It's Far North Bushcraft and Survival. Excellent, excellent Bushcraft and Survival YouTube channel. And I'll post a link to it down there. Well, thanks for joining me on this fire reflector experiment. Be sure and check out Far North Bushcraft and Survival's channel. It's an awesome channel. Thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.